Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the next episode of the Random Wheel. Let's hope that today and actually ends up giving us some decent guns with decent scopes. We've been kind of getting screwed over the last few episodes, so can, can we please just get something good today? That would be absolutely amazing. But uh, let's go ahead and spin for the reserve and see if we can at least get a good map. And we got SRP. It's been a while since we've got Silver Ridge Peak, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what guns we gotta use. And let the spinning begin. Are, are, are you absolutely kidding me? <laughs> we got a two 22 LRs, a 223, and the 6.5. Now, I'm happy with the 6.5, don't get me wrong, but really? Three 22 caliber rifles because technically the 223 is a 22 caliber. That is, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, at least we can get use out of all of them. However, we won't be able to take class 9 animals, which is a little rough, so that's gonna be sad if we find a good bison. Alright, now let's spin for three optics and see what we end up getting. I was gonna do four, but I think we'll just end up doing three of them. And it looks like we got the Argus scope, which that's actually a first for us. Typically, we end up getting just like tritium sights and iron sights and then the Gen Zero scope. So I'll take the Argus. That's uh, definitely a breath of fresh air. And then we have the starter scope. Okay. And we've got iron sights. Okay. That's a little more like what I was expecting. So I guess we need to roll for a fourth. I don't know why I said three now that I think of it, because we do have four weapons and we've only rolled for three of them. Okay, it looks like the fourth one is the Hyperion, so we're going to have to figure out which gun is going to get each of these. I'm going to assume we'll just put the Argus on the 6.5. So after doing a little bit of thinking, I feel like this is the best scope setup for our guns. We're going to put the Argus on the 22LR Virant. We're going to do the uh, Hyperion scope on the Martinson 6.5 Rayo. We're going to do Iron Sights on the AR-22, and then the Starter Scope on the 223 because it's probably going to be the gun I use the least. So this should be good right here. I think this will be a solid lineup. Well, I'd say that guy is about as good a start as any. That is a really nice looking mountain goat. Uh, hopefully that thing can actually end up being a high scoring one because it definitely looks like it could be. Its max estimate is 108, so it's got a chance of being very close to diamond. Let's just hope that had enough penetration to get into a vitals. I think it should have, and it's definitely looking like it did. Ooh, that looks to be a pretty decent mountain goat. I wish I could get a good spot on him. Uh, there's definitely two mountain goats right there that are pretty decent. I think that one actually might be a level five, but it's just so difficult to tell because they are in that brush. I think we're gonna go ahead and grab this one over here and then try to loop around the lake and maybe we can see if this guy's anything special because it definitely looks like one of those could be a five. Most likely it's just two large fours, but maybe we'll get lucky and there will end up being a five in there. But here is that first one that we took down. Let's go ahead and get a look at these horns. I don't think that guy's gonna make it. Definitely looks like it might even be below 100 and it's a 101.80, so it just barely made it to the 100 mark. However, that's still a good goat to start things out with. Definitely not mad about that one. Okay, so it actually does look like that was just a level four, so not really gonna get anything special out of any of these. And then we also have a couple threes and looks like another four, so yeah, none of those are anything crazy, it looks like, so we can probably just move on to a different lake. Well, that is the most random elk just feeding in front of these mountain goats. I mean, there's a pretty decent mountain goat here, too, but that caught me off guard. I did not expect to see this elk just chilling here. It's not too often I see them feeding in this exact spot, so definitely a little strange. Let's see if we can get both of them, maybe. Yep, we did get both of them, indeed. And we managed to get that guy, too. And the only reason I shot that third one is because I do feel like maybe, just maybe, that could have been a uh, albino. But it's really hard to tell the white and the albino from each other because they kind of look the same. So it's probably just a white fur type. Well, here is that level four. It looks like this one is a little bit bigger than the last at 102.60, but still nothing too special. 
Now the 6.5 does pretty great on them though. I don't mind uh, using the 6.5 as most you probably know by now. It is one of my favorite guns in the game. Uh, mainly because of the sound, the way it looks, and also its long range capabilities and the insane penetration it has at over 400 meters. It really is one of the most, I don't know, underrated guns in the game, I feel. And it was a part of my underrated uh, weapon series. If you guys haven't seen those, I would recommend checking them out. It was a cool little series we did a while back. Unfortunately, we ran out of guns that could be considered underrated, so that series is no longer uh, being made. But it was quite a bit of fun when I was doing it, so if you haven't seen it, I would recommend checking those out for sure. But here is that little Rocky Mountain Elk, just gonna quickly breeze by and grab it. We did get a nice double lung shot in there, 298 on the score. Not just a small level 3, but you know, it was there, so I figured we might as well take it down as well. Okay, uh, why does it look like that thing has one horn? Why does it look like that mountain goat has only one horn? I gotta know if that's actually the case. Oh, no, it, it, just, it just it just wasn't rendered in. Okay, well, false alarm. I thought that was something cool for a second. Well, I think things are about to get interesting. We've got four turkey toms over here, and I kind of want to just have some fun with the 22s on them. So uh, we'll take this one with the scoped 22 just to kind of get it out of the way. And then I want to switch to the 22 AR and try to get it with no scope because uh, that could definitely be interesting if we can pull this off. Let's just uh, figure out, see if we can hit any of those. I just want to see if this will work. Can we possibly hit at least one of the turkeys and just spamming like this? I mean, there's got to be at least one that will connect, right? There has to be at least one that will connect. And it definitely looks like we got at least two of them, so that's a bit more than I expected. I was thinking we'd maybe hit one, but it looks like we did end up getting two, so that's actually pretty good. Well, here is this little guy right here, 4.30, got ourselves a nice little stomach shot. And I'm actually very interested in seeing where we hit these two over here, since we were kind of just spraying at them randomly and hoping that we would at least hit one shot on them. And we ended up actually getting two, which is actually pretty sweet. Glad that we managed to get more than one turkey. However, I have absolutely no idea where the hits are going to be since we were kind of just randomly spraying. But it does look like we actually did get a Tom, so that is a positive. Ended up getting a vertebrae shot as well. You know, leave it to me to find the spine even on a turkey. And this other one was just a female, but we did hit it twice, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, that's actually a pretty good looking mule deer right there. That's a very solid buck, 245 to 306. I think we should definitely take him down and maybe there'll even be another one with him, but it kind of looks like there isn't anything quite his size. So let's try to get him to stop and then if we can, we'll try to get a shot into him, but it's uh, not 100% guaranteed that we'll be able to. However, he is actually gonna stop for us. And I was zeroed wrong, so hopefully that didn't hit spine. Oh gosh, I really hope that wasn't spine. I really hope we didn't hit spine, but it's uh, it's kind of looking like we might have. So yeah, that's uh, that's not good right there. Definitely not good. That means that buck is probably still alive, and this is probably him. So if we can, we'll get close enough to take another shot, but it's really not looking like it. Really not looking like we're actually going to get this guy. Well, that definitely does not have a chance of making diamond, but that is on the large side of what a level 4 can be for the uh, Rocky Mountain Elk, so definitely interested in at least getting this guy down. Unfortunately, the 6.5 is the only gun we have that can take him. So let's just hope it does good enough to get him down somewhat quick, considering otherwise it's going to be a very long track. And here we have that elk that we just took out. Let's go ahead and uh, pick it up in one second. Just got to check that bear. It is just a two. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. 437, so definitely on the low end of uh, what these larger looking racks can score, but still very solid elk. Well, okay, that is uh, definitely not what I expected to see, but I'm very happy to see a level 5 mule deer. Now, I don't even know if this thing's going to make diamond. I think this is the rack that has a chance, but the question is, will it actually make it? I really hope so. That should have sunk right into a lung, and it's looking like maybe we ended up getting vertebrae as well. 
That second shot should bring it down. Hopefully it wasn't just vertebrae. I think that had to be vertebrae and lung. And that second shot should have been roughly around the chest area. So let's just hope we didn't mess that up. That second shot was really sketchy to take because he could have easily moved his head in front of the shot, but I don't think he did. I think we're gonna be okay. However, he is floating. All right, well, we got a little bit of a problem. It has kind of got stuck on this cliffside, so we're gonna have to dive down and grab it as we fall into the water. Uh, this is not gonna be the most ideal thing in the world, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can do it. We also just got host of this server because the, the host just left, so maybe we can uh, check some other times as well just to see if there's any other trophies on this map. Well, this is just going absolutely amazingly. Uh, maybe we can drop down here. There we go, we grabbed it. It is unfortunately just a 304. Now, I have seen this rack right here score clear up to 313. Personally, my biggest one was a 312, which back then it wasn't diamond, but nowadays it actually would have made diamond. So I was really hoping this would be a high scoring one. Sadly, it is on the low end, mainly because that tip-to-tip -tip spread is just absolutely terrible. But to be honest, the low tip-to-tip -tip spread kind of makes this guy look good. It's unfortunate he didn't make it, but he's still a good-looking mule deer, and still our first max level of the day about an hour and 40 minutes into this video. Uh, obviously, the video won't be that long, but the recording is that long. Well, unfortunately, I am getting a lot of crashing in multiplayer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call the video here, guys. We did end up getting this dude right here, which is actually a pretty nice looking uh, diamond potential mule deer. Sadly, didn't quite make diamond, but it is still a beautiful buck and probably one of the better ones I've seen of this rack simply because it is a much tighter rack than normal. And it actually looks pretty sweet. I really wish this guy could have made it. Unfortunately, he just didn't quite get there. But still a really nice trophy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. For once, the random wheel was somewhat nice to us, I guess. It, it did give us SRP, and it did give us the 6.5 with some actual scopes for once, so that was good. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this down in the comments below. But until next time, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you enjoy most about this series and which series is your favorite, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!